today we're going to be talking about if I planned to get out of the army or not, but without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and like I just said, we're going to be talking about if I plan to get out of the army or not, right? Like I know most people they join, they think they're going to do the 20 or they're going to do their four years, right? And you know, I got out in 2019 and we're going to be going over if that was part of my overall plan or if it was something that unexpectedly happened, you know, midway through my contract or something or if there was something particular that made me want to get out, you know, even more or, you know, like just really pushed me to like, oh, you know what, I'm done with the army. Army. I'm getting out right but before we jump into that be sure to like this video subscribe because we're trying to hit a million in the next year uh, if you have any questions whatsoever follow me on my Instagram at the Ben Allen it's the best possible place to reach me I try to get back to everybody within a week I have active duty knowledge reserve knowledge so if you have any questions hit me up in there or the link in my description will take you to my discord it's a community uh, lots of people in there that can help answer your questions as well so if you're into that uh, feel free to join it's free and uh, yeah so jump Jumping in guys, right? I guess to start off, we have to go with like why I joined the army in the first place, right? Was I driven by patriotism or, you know, just other stuff, right? So short and simple, I missed the housing deadline uh, when I was applying for college. Uh, and I really didn't have a backup plan and you know I think it was probably the best thing that probably could have happened to me because looking back I'm glad I didn't go the college route you know initially straight out of high school like a lot of my friends did uh, simply because one I didn't want to be a financial burden on my parents granted I would have like helped pay for it as well but you know it's just something that I didn't want to do in the long run and just end up with a bunch of college debt and so one of my buddies had joined and I figured you know what hey if, if David joined you know I'll join and then my other buddy joined too and then a bunch of my other buddies joined uh, so I figured why not right so with two weeks left of high school I talked to the recruiter I was like hey uh, I'm trying to join so he was like okay bet fucking we did the whole process right and then two days before my high school graduation I went up to maps swore in picked my job all that stuff did ship out to September right uh, and I kind of started like thinking right then and there like you know what I'll do the four years and I'll get out I'll get the GI Bill and I'll go to school after I do my contract and so that was my initial mindset you know join get the GI Bill and you know you know utilize the benefits that are given to you after the four years and so you know I join I do my whole contract right and about like year two maybe is when like I, I really get hit with you know what the army is really like you know what I mean uh, and it just kind of like e deterred me even more to not want to re-enlist into active duty and I was like yeah you know what maybe I was right in the beginning to only want to do a four-year contract and you know seeing different things right toxic leadership being one of them and you know just the way the army in general operates and I don't mean like you know special forces army or anything like that I just mean like regular old army right uh, you know leadership probably isn't the best across the board i mean some some duty stations don't have great leadership but you know my unit was uh, it was it was it was mixed it was like half and half um and that just kind of solidified like you know okay yeah i do i definitely don't want to re-enlist and then you know flash forward three and a half years later i'm coming up on re-enlistment right and they're like oh where do you want to go we'll send you anywhere you want and i was like well you know what if i can get fort sam houston i'll re-enlist and so they tried and they're like, no, you can literally go anywhere else, but we can't send you to Fort Sam Houston because they're like 200% over strength. And I was like, well, I'm not re-enlisting. I don't trust the, the grass to be greener on the other side. And that was the end, guys. I, that was when I officially like, you know, I already kind of had my thoughts of like getting out like when I first joined, right? I was gonna use the army as a stepping stone. Midway through, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm not re-enlisting. And then something changed in between. I was like, well, if I can get Fort Sam, I'll re-enlist didn't get it and I wasn't gonna roll the dice and take a chance and hope for a better unit and better leadership I was like you know I'll take my chances in the civilian world and that's what I did after they said uh, no to Fort Sam Houston we went on a rotation to Korea for like nine months came back and uh, it was time to start my ETS process because I had 70 days of leave to take so I was doing my process like in June and I, my contract didn't end until September but I had 70 days of leave so you know almost three months worth and I was like well let me start doing that so I started the whole uh, ETS process and it was it was a little bumpy right every ETS process can be a little bumpy and I got out I got out of the army in 2019 September officially and you know then like the whole you know like the the veteran identity crisis hit me and I was like bro what the fuck like 
I miss the boys, I miss my friends, like what the heck, like, you know, maybe I should, you know, join back up or something, but not active duty. So I was like, yeah, no, fuck active duty, I'm not doing that ever again. And so I started getting messages from reserve recruiters, National Guard recruiters. At first I was like, nah, miss me with that shit, I'm not trying to do any of that. Uh, and then one day I was just reeled down, I was like, you know, feeling out of place in the civilian world and they hit me up and they're like, hey, do you want to join the reserves? It's a 4856, we just transfer you over and uh, you keep your rank, keep your MOS, you know, you don't have to go to basic again or anything. I was like, that's a good deal. And was, oh yeah, we'll give you $4,000 bonus too uh, for a three year contract. I was like, all right, bet. So I did the reserves. I joined, my unit was in San Antonio, Fort Sam Houston, where I wanted to be. And I was like, all right, let's go. So my unit was cool, probably the best leadership I ever had up until that point. But about like a year in, I just started realizing that, you know, it wasn't for me. I was like officially done with the army. I had acclimated into the civilian world. So I talked to my leadership. I was like, hey, is there any way I can transfer back to the IIR? And they're like, yeah, man, it's super simple. You just do this paperwork, bro. I was expecting them to like be like, oh, fuck no, bro. You can't do that shit, you know, because active duty would do something like that. And they were like super helpful through the whole process. I was like, whoa, bro. I was like taken back. The culture shock from active to the reserves was crazy. Uh, and they let me switch. And so now I, back in August, I officially got out of the reserves and now I'm in the IIR for like, what till june 2023 and then after that officially done officially 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 done with the army altogether. uh but now we provide content here on the channel for you guys uh so that's my story uh to answer the question in the video right uh initially i did plan to only do the first contract and get out and have nothing to do with the army i didn't plan to do the reserves or anything after that uh you know if, had i gotten fort sam houston back in active who knows i might still be in the army today but that's not the case it's neither here nor there and i hope you guys enjoyed this little you know sit down story time type of stuff figured with the holidays around the corner i just you know bust out one of these quick videos i'll do a live stream on wednesday what the what's that the 22nd i think and then i won't be posting a video on uh friday right because what that's actually what the 24th and 25th uh so yeah i'm just gonna spend time with the family but thank you all for tuning into this video i really appreciate it again the link to my discord is in the description we almost have 200 people in there so if you want to join have questions about the military i'm pretty sure somebody in there can help you as well i pop in every now and then if you have any questions you want to ask me personally hit me up on my instagram at the ben allen best possible place to reach me like this video so it pushes it out to a larger audience and subscribe 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 because we're trying to hit a million followers subscribers in the next year uh but thank you all so much i appreciate y'all and i'll See you on the next one. Later.